Welcome back to Live With A Classic. I'm here with a Daimler Double Six. It's Series 3 and we have a little bit of an issue. As you know, these tanks have, these cars have two tanks, I mean. And the left one, when you're using it, it seems to leak a bit. Not too much, but a little bit. It started with a bit of a fuel smell and then it started with, I saw a little bit of a spot on the ground. And now I think we have something. I believe it is when it's returning. I've tried to have a look underneath, but there are covers and things. So I'm going to remove, or we're going to have to remove a bit of the bumper in the lower panel to have a look. But let me show you sort of what it looks like, and then we'll try and, you know, figure it out. It's hard to see here, but I'll do my best. There is wetness around here, but it's not coming from the bottom of the tank. It's only happening when the engine is running. So I believe it's one of the return lines in the tank that is leaking out. And to get to that, we need to get this lower cover off, which is behind the bumper here. So let me get that out of the way and we'll have a look if we can see. Hopefully it's just a line leaking. If really unlucky, it's a tank, but um, I'm really hoping it's just a line. I've removed one of the bumper sides and the panel here. And the thing is, what I thought it would be is there is a hose back here let me get a light and show you guys so there is the main hose going out of the tank it's not the one i thought it was over there you have a return hose and that goes into the wheel well over there that's where i thought it was coming from but it actually seems to be uh, try not to get a glare for you guys it seems to be from the drain which I, I really tried to see that, but it's hard because everything's been covered with underseal and things, which is great. But that was really hard to see when the covers were on. So what I'm going to do is, because we have the cover off, I'm going to replace that hose as well. This one you can actually pretty much almost get to with the cover on, just loosen the bottom a little bit without removing the bumper. But that one, we will replace that one. And then I have a new one of those. I always have those at home. I'll probably replace the one on the other side as well. Just while we're at it. And we'll fill back up with fuel and check for leaks. But that hose, I think it's a good idea to replace as well. These drains are in two pieces. There's a little drain. And there's a bigger plug where you can get a small filter out in there. And it's a bigger plug that is usually the one that's leaking. There's a rubber gasket on it and... They just get old. So, get the bigger wrench on the outside one. And, let's see. It's a little bit of a tight fit. There we go. And we'll start cracking this one loose. You don't want the big one to come loose. Because uh, you'll have a mess when you try to drain it. Alright, just get the small one first. And then you can pretty easily drain these tanks. That's the nice thing about these cars. You can drain them without taking these covers off. Sometimes you can't get the big one out with the cover. Sometimes they're tight, you can bend them a little bit. Um, but now, you just really want to be sure and investigate and find this leak. And I think it's a good idea to replace the other hose. I'm going to check if I have a bit of hose that fits that. Let me see, it goes in there. And then it goes over there. Should at least. Oh. Yeah, there's the return valves in here. But I'm going to have a look at that and see what we do. So there's a fitting right here, which is the fuel return, and that goes to a pipe that goes up to the top of the tank, and that is pretty much where it returns. I'm going to get a drip pan here, so I'm going to undo that fitting, and I'll undo the hose from the other side, and I'll pull it out, put a new hose, and slide it back in, but let me get a pan for this. There we go. Should 
Shouldn't be too much in here. It's just a return. So it's pretty much just whatever's in that little pipe. There we go. That is loose. And I'm going to undo the other end of the pipe over here from this valve. Slide it out. Put new hose. Put it in. Then we'll replace that little gasket there. And hopefully this fuel system is tight again. Here's the little hose. I got off. There's the fitting. And it goes behind the tank. Through there. And onto these fuel return valves. There's one on each side. And you know, electrically switch which tank it returns to. So I'll put on a new hose. I'm just going to scrub this down a little bit. Replace that little hose there as well. And then I'll just put a little bit of wax oil on here. It's just a tiny bit of surface rust on the valve. Nothing to worry about. And then we know even though this hose seems like it was fine, it was actually something else. We might as well replace it while we're in here. And just because we have this whole cover off, you don't want to take that off too many times. So I'll replace that. I'll replace that little thing right in there. I'll show you guys when I do that. And then hopefully we have a fuel tight system once again. Here is that big plug and I put a new seal on it. The old one, pretty worn. And if you're curious, I took this out just to have a look at it, show you guys. That is the filter inside the tank. This looks to be in pretty good condition. I'll clean off a little bit, put that in again, put this all back together. And then we can clean up and start putting fuel in. Check for leaks. We have the new hose in place. We have a washer in there. Everything's tightened. I have filled up about half the tank here. So there's about 20 liters in there. I'm going to fire it up. We'll check for leaks on the return and everything. And hopefully we have none. Running. What you see dripping on the ground is some condensate from a drain on the exhaust. So that is nothing weird. We have fuel returning here I've looked inside the tank I can show you that in a little bit if it's sounding a little off it is missing on one cylinder I'm gonna do some plugs on it it's been sitting here for a bit so we will have a look in there oh there we go now we gained another cylinder there we go feels returning nicely all working really well I'm gonna clean up in here and all that so you don't get any drains that's really important to do that but now we can put all these panels back together and then I can do some other work on this great car that's it for this video another little thing fixed on this beautiful Daimler double six as you probably noticed I have a hub off I'm doing a, a rear wheel bearing on it and then I'm gonna do plugs check through that just give it a service and it's time for a fresh inspection and then it's just getting some small cosmetic things done elsewhere. And then the customer can pick it up in a couple of weeks. The beautiful Daimler Double Six. These things drive so well. I absolutely love them. They're, um, yeah, they're the ultimate sort of, I call them a modern classic, even though they're probably just a classic, but they drive so well that they could be a modern car. All right, this maybe wasn't the most exciting thing ever. I thought I was going to find other things in the fuel leaks. Ended up being something really simple but when everything was just wet and dirty in there when the covers were on it was really hard to see where it was coming from and it seemed to just been from that gasket in there i am going to drain the other tank uh, on the other side not right now it has about half a tank so i'm going to drive it on the right tank until it's almost empty and then drain it and replace that little gasket in there just to be on the safe side but we should be good to go. And with, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Till next time, I'm Adam. This is Loom with a Classic. I'll see you soon.